In this video, I'm going to be turning this glass vase into a tree trunk terrarium. Let's begin. I'm starting off with the drainage layer. For this, I'm going to be using Leaker. It's super lightweight and relatively cheap to get hold of. As this terrarium is only small, this layer only needs to be a couple centimetres thick. And in case you didn't know, the purpose of this layer is for a place for the excess water to sit. Before continuing, I'm going to put a mesh separator on top of the drainage layer. This will keep the substrate from getting through. For this, I like to use window screen mesh. I'll leave some links to some of the materials I'm using in the description below. Time for the substrate. I'm using my usual mix, I'll put it up on screen now. It retains moisture well, holds nutrients and is well draining. I'm pouring in a generous amount and then using the terrarium tool, which is simply a stick with a cork, I'm patting it down and sloping it towards the back. Creating a slope helps improve the sense of depth. Here's the piece of wood I'm using to form the trunk of the tree. I'm placing it inside the terrarium to get a general feel of how it would look and to make sure it's not too tall. And then I'm going to take it out and use this crack to plant some moss inside. The moss I'm using here is cushion moss. You can use what you have available. I start by cutting off the base. Don't worry, this won't hurt the moss. And then I'm going to split it up into smaller chunks and gently wedge them in the gap of the wood. I used a small stick to help me get them in place. Hopefully with time, the moss will start to spread and creep up the trunk of the tree. Now the trunk is done, I'm gently putting it in the terrarium and using the tool to make sure it stays in place. Now I'm going to surround the base of the trunk using more cushion moss. Like I said earlier, you can use the moss you have available to you. This could be growing in your garden, growing on bricks or even cracks in the pavement. Using some black lava rock, i am added some details around the base of the trunk. And then filling up the remaining space with moss. Now the moss is in, it's time to add some plants. I'm starting with this small climbing plant. It should slowly creep its way up the trunk of the tree. Although it doesn't have any roots at the moment, the terrarium will provide perfect conditions for it to root and grow. Next, I'm gonna take some small cuttings of this peperomia. I'm gonna plant them on either side towards the back of the trunk. Once again, these cuttings don't have roots, but like I said earlier, the terrarium will provide perfect conditions and you'll start to see roots in as little as a few days. These cuttings should grow relatively tall and will hopefully create some nice textures around the trunk. Almost finished with the planting, but I noticed the foreground was a little empty. To fix this, I'm gonna put in some small cuttings of baby tears. This is as big as the leaves will get. It will creep and grow around the base of the terrarium and will help create some nice textures and details. Time for the springtails. They'll eat any mold or decaying matter that they can find around the terrarium, which will help keep it nice and clean. This is even more important in a terrarium such as this one, as it contains a piece of wood which is prone to growing mold. Using a pipette, I'm gonna water the terrarium. Remember, when it comes to watering, less is more. The substrate should be damp and not wet or soggy. Left as it is, this terrarium would be prone to drying out as it doesn't have a lid. An easy solution is a clear acrylic lid that will sit on top of the terrarium. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to drop a like if you enjoyed it or if you found it helpful. Now, if you've ever wondered what a terrarium looks like after three years, watch this.